What up, Laker Nation? You're here with your host, Kareem. How you doing this Friday evening? Um, today, I, I do Phoenix Suns. I did the Lakers uh, the other day. Um, I'm basically doing any team you guys ask me to do. Um, break down the contract-wise. they real worth, not what they getting. Some players might be getting underpaid. Some getting overpaid. But they true value, in my, in my opinion. So um, the first play I'm gonna start with the Phoenix Suns is Javon Carter, a point guard. I think that he's a two point five million dollar player. Um, he play hard. Um, he battles. He's tough, but he don't really give you much. So I think he's good. I think a good value for him like two million dollars, two point five million dollars, three million is on the high end. Like three million to be like the the top. Um, salary, I say for for Javon Carter, Carter, anything over that, I think you a little overpaid. Um, the next person I say is is Langston Galloway. Langston Galloway, I I, I say his his value right now maybe three point five million. Um, he a good three point shooter. Um, he decent defender. Um, he's not. He only like six one. He's not a true point guard. And shooting guard, he a little too small to play the two. So his value really on teams is kind of on good teams. Like I said, this is based on the people who just probably coming in. This is based on good teams. Second, like maybe 50, 55 win, 50, 53 to 55 win teams. Teams like, you know, like guarantee like a second round um, playoff team. You know, you don't have to be a championship team, but at least a second-round playoff team. Uh, that means guys who are producing on those type teams, not no teams that's on, on the bottom. Um, next player, I say Torian Craig. I say about two point five million for Torian Craig. Play hard, um, at pretty athletic. Uh, knock down the three here and there, but um, he play hard. Good guy to have on your team to throw in for a couple minutes. I think he's more like a 12-minute a game guy. Um, so, I, like I said, 2.5 men, I say 3 men be the top. Anything over 3 men, you might be a little overpaying for um, Tory and Craig right now. Um, let's play Eton Moore. Eton Moore, I say around 3.5 million. Um, crafty veteran. Um, could knock down threes. Sometimes get hot. Um, he could play some some one and two. Uh, good teammate. So I say about three point five three point five million dollars for uh, Eton Moore. You know, maybe maybe Michael scratch four four million dollars for Eton. Uh, who else uh, for the fans? Karen Payne. Karen Payne. I say about four. Good, good, solid backup point guard. I say about four to four point five million dollars. Good backup point guard, solid. Um, four to four point five million. I think that's a good contract for him. Uh, good teammate. Teammates love him. Um, he's a solid player, former first round pick. Uh, he pretty much underachieved. He bounced around a lot. Um, now, next player I say is uh, Frank Kaminsky. Yeah, Frank, backup center. He got decent post moves. He can knock down the outside shot a little bit. Not much of a rim protector. Um, he's basically like a 15 to 17 minute guy. Um, so a guy who getting 15, 17 minutes, I say they value maybe like 3.5 million. He's not giving you too much. Um, Three point five million, I think his his uh, his proper salary for um, Frank Kaminsky. Uh, who else on Phoenix? Jalen Smith, he a rookie, uh, minimum contract right now. Um, that pretty much self explanatory when it comes to guys like that. Uh, um, who else um, on Phoenix? Um, um, who else on Phoenix? Oh, um, Dario Saric. Saric. Dario Saric. Dario Saric, I say he probably have like a 
a six to seven million dollar player. He 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 will battle. Um, to scratch the floor, good outside shooter. He give you some good game throughout out the season. Again, about six to six six and a half million dollars. I think it's it's a good salary for um, Sarich. Um Cam Johnson. Cam Johnson, I think about the same, about six million dollars. I think he's about six million dollar player right now. Good outside shooter. He's still learning the game. Um, second year player. Um, he surprised most people. Um, I thought he he better than what I thought um, coming into the league. Um, next player, I say Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder ran like a six million dollar player. About the same. Six to seven million dollar player. Toughness. He knocked down three. I, I might could give him six six to eight because he, he give you a little toughness. Six to eight million dollars. I say Jay Jay Crowder. Six to eight million dollars a good value for him. He sometimes get lost on you know, um battle, tested, tough. I think he get like ten million dollars right now. He ain't too way off. I say about he about like an eight million dollar player. I, I say Jay Crowd is. He give you a lot. He could play the three and the four. So I I, I definitely give give Crowd about eight million dollars. I say. Um, Mikael Bridges. I say seven to ten million dollars. He could do a lot. Ten million dollars. You won't be mad paying him uh, ten million dollars a year. He do a lot. He versatile. He good defender. Um, good teammate. And I want you guys to um, look at. I want you to say, "Oh, ten million dollars. He better than such and such." And and this player makes seventeen million. It's not about that. It's my opinion, true value. Because a lot of these players don't worth what they saying. And and like I said. If Mikael Bridge is your fourth best player on your team, I think ten million dollars is I think is a, is a good for your fourth best player on your team. So I say Mikael Bridges, I say about ten million dollars. I, I say is a pretty good, um, pretty good salary for him. Ten million dollars. Next player I say DeAndre Ayton. I say anywhere from fifteen to eighteen million dollars. I could probably go in the more in the high end. I think he easy eighteen million dollar player a year. Um, he's young. He, I wish he's, he ain't tough enough to, for me, but um, he's a good player. He get like fifteen to ten, but his impact is not. He's not dominant enough for me, so I, I think about eighteen million. I I, I say for him about eighteen million dollars. Uh, Chris Paul, Chris Paul, I say Chris Paul about true value about twenty five million dollars. Really give you leadership, um, steady point guard play. He's not no max player because I'm gonna break break that down in a minute. Um, uh, like I said, he a leader. Um, he brings some toughness. Um, good point guard. Good, good, good point guard. Um, but I'm gonna break this down because I know somebody in the comment section may be like, "Ah, oh, look at Phoenix was garbage last year, and look at them now." I want to break down some things. When you say, especially a young team, I do give him a hell of a amount of credit because look what happened at OKC. I definitely and he he much better than how I thought he was. I thought he's really, really declining. But you have to think like this. Phoenix is a young team, and it was getting better. So you have to factor in Devin Booker got better. Um, you have to factor eight Bridges. Um, uh, Cam Johnson. You know, that guy's getting better. Then you add veteran like um, Crowder. So... You know, um, days when they was getting better as we, you know, they period, they's getting better. And then you, you drop a a whole a future Hall of Fame, you know, point guard, 
Point guard do make a difference. Look at Rondo. Rondo not Rondo got the Clippers looking much better. They look much more organized. They offense better flow. So that don't mean you say, oh well, you know he deserves all the credit. He's a bit max player. I think twenty five million is efficient for him. If you look at the points, the assists, and stuff he give you, and and you know I, I say oh, twenty five million dollars. A lot of people ain't no max players in my book anyway. Um. Devin Booker, I say he 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 a max player. I think his max is what twenty eight million dollars. Devin Booker is a max player, so I don't really have to say much about Devin Booker. You guys know his game. If you guys need me to do another team, if y'all don't like, um, if that's not your favorite team. You just want me to break down true salary, um, market value for these guys. It could be any team. I did the Lakers. I did Phoenix now. Any other team you want me to do, just leave in the comment section. Like, subscribe. Peace.